Every morning, my coworkers moan and groan until they get their salted caramel macchiatos or their iced pumpkin spice lattes. And then, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, again, they are grumbling about their fatigue and their headaches until they get their coveted Starbucks run. You may recognize this as the Starbucks logo. It is a very popular coffee house throughout all of America. In fact, there are over 250 Starbucks locations in New York City alone. Some may say that America runs on Starbucks. Seeing my coworkers depend on coffee every day has gotten me thinking. Is coffee really as amazing as they say it is? Does it really give them the energy that they need to up their workplace? I would argue that coffee is not the pick-me-up that my coworkers think it is or the pick-me-up that they need. Coffee has negative health effects, and although it may bring extra energy for a couple of hours, it causes a result of dependence on caffeine. Finally, we have been told in the scriptures in the word of wisdom to not partake of any strong drink, which coffee is qualified as. As to the negative health effects of coffee, according to WebMD, coffee containing caffeine causes insomnia, nervous and restlessness, stomach upset, nausea, and vomiting, increased heart and breathing rate, and other side effects. In fact, consuming large amounts of coffee can result in headaches, anxiety, agitation, ringing in the ears, and irregular heartbeats. That is quite the list of side effects. One other study from the Gut, a journal of gastroenterology, found that coffee promotes the release of gastrin, a hormone produced within the stomach and known to increase motor activity in the colon. So although we do have this long list of side effects, another one is also that you have to go to the bathroom all the time, which does not sound pleasant to me. Some may argue that coffee does have positive health effects. And according to the Mayo Clinic, studies have shown that coffee may have health benefits, including protecting against Parkinson's disease, type two diabetes, and liver disease, including liver cancer. Coffee also appears to improve cognitive function and decrease the risk of depression. But unfortunately, in this very same article, they admit that the study left out some of the risks involved. They state that high consumption of unfiltered coffee, whether boiled or espresso, has been associated with mild elevations in cholesterol level. In addition, I would add that coffee not only has negative side effects physically, but it results in a dependence upon the substance. The caffeine in the coffee makes your body tolerant towards it, and the more you drink it, the more you need to attain that same level of energy level and awakeness. And then I will show a coffee video that shows a cute little coffee mug winking and saying, I own you. And because coffee can become an addiction. And when you're addicted to something, it owns you and you have to get that coffee or substance in your body before you feel the way that you would want to. It affects your everyday life. Finally, the word of wisdom states that strong or hot drinks are not for the belly. More specifically, Prophets have told us that coffee is a part of that description. It is a part of that commandment. The word of wisdom gives us both temporal and spiritual blessings. I've already focused a little bit on the temporal blessings, which include living a long, healthy life and avoiding all those negative side effects that were listed. I would like to focus more on the spiritual effects now. Ultimately, we can receive eternal life when we are obedient to God's commandments. And in DNC 89 verses 20 through 21, it states that through obedience, one will run and not be weary and shall walk and not faint. This means that we can receive a resurrection at the last day. In verse 21, it states the destroying angel shall pass by them as the children of Israel and not slay them. To give you a little background on the children of Israel that it talks about in verse 21, I will tell you that the atonement in Hebrew translates to kaporeth, which means the covering. The children of Israel were commanded to cover their doors with the blood of the lamb to be protected from the destroying angel. We too can be covered by the blood of the lamb by being obedient to the commandments, specifically the word of wisdom. In doing this, we can receive eternal life. In conclusion, coffee may hold the fatigue at bay for a couple of hours, but the huge consequences, in my opinion, are not worth it. Our health can be negatively affected we can become addicted to it, 
and we can depend on the caffeine within. Finally, we are putting our physical and spiritual blessings in jeopardy if we do so. This commandment, the word of wisdom, allows us to show our obedience to Heavenly Father, and in return, we can receive a glorious resurrection and protection from the adversary at the last day. And in conclusion, we can receive eternal life.